Hi, thank you for joining me for day 12 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, round 12. And today's sketch you can see in the top right hand corner there is by Miss Carrie's Creations here on YouTube. It's a gorgeous sketch, once again with strips behind the photos. And I feel like I've done that a lot recently, so I was trying to think of a different way of creating those strips and really wanted to get messy with my acrylic paints. So you can see I've pulled out some varying colours to match my photos, um, sort of an aqua green, an emerald green, a brown, and then this white. I've just dotted those along the top of the page, and then I'm going to smear them with my metal palette knife down the page to create those strips. Once this paint is down, I'm then going to come in with some Nouveau Deluxe Crystal Drops in my favourite ebony black and also in a bright gold, just to break up those colours a bit and to find the strips because they have sort of all merged into one a bit there. <laughs> so here I am. I was just checking whether I wanted it, which way I wanted it round. And then I'm going to come in with my black, first of all. And you just have to be confident doing these strips and I'm doing them in varying lengths up and down the page right the way through those paint splats. And then once the black's down, just wiping off the nib because obviously I've dragged it through the wet acrylic and then coming in with the gold. And this just brightens everything up a little bit because they're very dirgy, dingy colors there at the moment. Um, the photos are of my husband and myself on the uh, cliff walk in Newport in Rhode Island back in 2015 when we did our trip to Boston. And the surrounding area so I've chosen three photos that are mm, I think they're three inch squared and I'm just going to strip them stick them in a strip right the way along this scrap of white card stock and then create the tag that Miss Kerry has got on her sketch going across the strips just while I'm waiting for the paint to dry I thought I'd get on with doing this bit so I've chosen this black and white paper I'm using papers from Vicky Bootin's print shop I love this collection because it's just a generic collection. It's not travel related or baby related or anything like that. They're just great shapes and um, I really enjoy using them. There are also lots of lovely greens and yellows in which work really nicely with these photos. So I'm creating the tag top here by just folding the paper in half, not actually folding it, just um, rounding it if you like in half to create the two edges of the tag and then using my single hole punch to punch the hole at the top. And I am going to come in with my We Are Memory Keepers hole reinforcer and create the hole reinforcer to go around the top. And I'm just using the green colour that's on the reverse of that black and white print. I just thought that worked really nicely and there are lots of greens in the photo, so I like that. And this is a walk that I've already, already documented quite a few times, so I don't really need to do much journaling on this page. It's just recording another three photos of Ross and the scenery around the walk. So there's the main strip there. I'm going to mount it up onto these 25mm stick two foam pads just to give it a bit of height and definition, make it the focal point of the layout. So this is my tangled box of threads. These are my wax threads. We sell these on Hey Little Magpie on cute little wooden bobbins that James cuts for JD 3D print. But um, these are the leftovers, if you like, when I've wound them onto the bobbins. <laughs> so everybody else gets really cute wooden ones and I just get a tangled box of thread. <laughs> so just going to stick this down now that that paint is dry, right in the middle there. And then I can start adding my title. So I pulled out these LE Studio stickers. I love these, the Jane Alphabet stickers. You can see I've already run out of these. I don't normally like doing this, but for this layout, I thought it would work. So I've actually used two threes upside down to create the E in the Keep On Walking title. So I won't make you watch all of that. I'll fade out and there we go. So keep on walking with an exclamation mark. This is one of our new canvas flare badges of the US destinations. And this one says New England and it's a um, cityscape of New England. And I just thought that worked really nicely. And now I'm going to go through the chipboard sheet from the print shop collection and pull out some of the chipboard leaves that are in there. I just thought they would embellish that flare badge really nicely. So just a couple of the leaves and you can see I'm fussing, trying to decide which way round to put them. 
because of the shape of them I didn't know which which point to point into the badge if you like <laughs> but I got there in the end so just gluing that flare badge down and after I finish filming I will go around and glue down all of the chipboard that I put on this layout using some wet glue because it doesn't stay permanently in your albums if you if you don't stick the chipboard down from any collection you'll find in a couple of years it's just at the bottom of the page protector so I'd recommend always uh, reinforcing the glue on any chipboard with some wet glue or a tape runner or something. So these uh, chevrons are from JD3D Print. I love these open chevrons and I just thought they created a really nice cluster at the bottom there per Miss Carrie's sketch. And then there's a sticker from the 6x12 sticker sheet there that says good stuff with an arrow across the bottom. Then I pulled out this little piece that says self care, which I thought was really nice next to my husband. And another one of the chipboard leaves, which I'm going to just pop underneath the title there. Next, I pulled this flower off the 6x12 sticker sheet. I've tried to use this a couple of times on layouts and not been able to, but I thought it would work really nicely on this one. So I'm just going to build up the cluster there in the top right hand corner now. I wanted to bring in some of this yellow, so I'm just going to trim a little bit off that paper and add that to the cluster up there. And then I'll keep going through the book the box of goodies to see what else I can find and that box has everything it's got some cut aparts that I've cut up from this the 12 by 12 and 6 by 8 paper pads and um, it's got the papyri paces uh, which are the, these two are from and it's also got the ephemera pack so everything all contained in the one box and it is starting to dwindle now there's so much in these collections it takes a while but I've noticed that it is starting to go down so just pulling out one of the washi stickers here and I do use that behind the flower there. Um, you have to bear in mind when you're trying these that when you take the backing off, it is much more transparent than it looks with the backing on it, obviously. And you could leave the backing on and just stick it like that, but I like the translucency. So just gluing all these bits down before I add that washi. And there we go. You can see how much more translucent that is now that it's stuck down. Adding that floral sticker and I'm just looking at the layout now and noticing that it is popping up so I will add a bit of glue behind that as well. So this is one of the, I think it was from the 12x12 12 12 paper pad, um, one of the cut parts and I'm just cutting that banner that says record and I'm going to pop that underneath the title there. So just moving that chipboard piece and adding that down and then the chipboard piece can be nestled underneath that. And the chipboard piece just says the world is full of beautiful things which matches this walk because it was full of beautiful things. So just checking the positioning before I glue everything down. And even though I did that, I still glue the chipboard piece in a different position and then move it. <laughs> so put it there first of all, and then remember that I wanted it further along. So just wiping off the excess glue. I do put something else down there in its place anyway. So and this is what it is, it's this yellow paper and I just tear a thin strip off and that just finishes that off nicely down there. And just hiding some of the edges so that it all looks cohesive with that leaf. And now a couple more chipboard pieces, there's a little black with gold star and this green with the gold heart on it. And then this chipboard tab that says hello new day, I like that. And now adding a little label across the bottom here, I just felt it was a bit empty next to that flare badge. So just filling in the gaps if you like. And I do love a label. <laughs> Again, this is from one of the cutter parts from the 12 by 12 papers. So just nestling that under there. It's amazing what you can find on the printed papers to create your own ephemera. So always look at what's available. And this one just says grow free wildflower, which I quite liked. And it, again, it's just adding some more detail to that bottom banner. So now the date with my roller date stamp, which was the 12th of November, 2015. And just looking through to see what else I can find. I find this little half washi sticker that I think looks nice in the bottom cluster there. So just adding that. Almost there now. 
And finally, coming in with some Nouveau Crystal Drops in the black and gold again, just in dots around the page. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please do check the description box down below to see the playlist of everybody else who's joining in on this hop. I'll also add Miss Carrie Creations details down there as well so that you can give her some love and thank her for her beautiful sketch. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. And other than that, I shall see you tomorrow for day 13. Thank you so much. Bye.